Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we have a function f of x, which is defined as a piecewise function. The first piece of the piecewise function is 1 plus x if x is less than 0, and the second piece x squared if x is greater or equal 0. On part a, we are asked to find f of negative 1. So for that reason, we're going to look and negative 1 is a number that is less than 0. So we're going to use this piece of the piecewise function. So we're going to have uh, 1 plus negative 1 and obviously that is 0. So f of negative 1 is 0 or we have the point negative 1 and 0 if we want an order pair. Uh, we can go to f of 3, the second point. And if you notice, this value 3 is a number that is greater than 0. So we're going to use this piece of the piecewise function. And we're going to have 3 squared, and that will be 9. f of 3 is 9, which means as an order pair, 3 and 9. Find the domain of the function. And if we take a look, the domain is what kind of x's you can use, and we can use x less than 0 and x greater or equal 0. We can use any value possible. So the domain is all real numbers. Or if you need the interval notation, negative infinity, positive infinity. Intercepts. Uh, if you notice, we already have an intercept here. We can see it. But let's start with the y-intercepts. y-intercepts are when x equals 0. And x equals 0, that means we're going to use this piece of the piecewise function. And we're going to evaluate f of 0. And we get 0 squared, which is nothing else than 0. So this is the y-intercept, which in fact is also the x-intercept. And for the x-intercept, we should make y equals 0, or the function equals to 0, f of x equals to 0, and then we have two equations, 0 equals 1 plus x, which goes with the first piece of the piecewise function, and 0 equals x squared, which goes with the second piece of the piecewise function. And let's go to the first one. We, if we solve here for x, we subtract 1, we get x equals negative 1. Then we have to take a look if this value belongs to the first piece of the piecewise function, and that is correct. Negative 1 is less than 0, so yes, the intercept is negative 1 and 0, which we know it. It was right here, as I said before. Uh, this one, uh, if we solve, we're going to get x equals 0, which gives us 0 and 0, which is another intercept that we found it here. And by the way, if we take a look, this 0 belongs to this interval. So we, I find, we have those intercepts. So we can move now to the part D, E and F. On part D, we are asked to graph. So for that reason, I'm going to make a table. On this table, I'm going to put some of the value we had in the previous parts. So if you remember, we have uh, negative 1 and 0. That is one value I'm going to put in the table. 3 and 9. That's a second one, which probably is not going to fit in here. Uh, but I'm going to put it on the table. Let's see what else we have. We have this is 0 and 0, which uh, should go in the table. And we have uh, one more. Let's see. Uh, we have this negative 1 and 0, which would already use it. So we have to get a little bit more values, uh, at least for the this right side of the piecewise function. For the left side, I think we have enough because this is a line. And we have negative 1 and 0, which is right here. And we have... 0 and 0. Oh, this one, in fact, is the left side. And we have 3 and 9, which is kind of too much. So let's, let's, let's make x equals 1. 
and that means we're going to use this piece of the piecewise function and one square is one so we're going to have this point and we can use also two and we get two square which is four and that will be this guy so we get a parabola here right this is the right side and you should have a full dot here when x is zero because that what it says here x greater or equal zero um, so we use these points in fact only these three to get the parabola we have this negative one and zero like i said and let's take negative two we're going to evaluate the function at negative two for that reason we we're going to use again this piece of the piecewise function the first one so we have neg one plus negative two and that will be negative one so we have the point negative two and negative one that is this guy therefore we have something like this and let's do one more thing let's evaluate the function add zero for this piece even though it says x less than zero if you put zero in you have one plus zero which is one and we have this point uh, zero and one which is right here you want to do a hole here and get with your graph right there and that should be the graph for this uh, piecewise function we can have we have a better graph here you see exactly the same thing now we can go and answer to e based on the graph find the range the range is what kind of value we can get out and if you notice uh, we can get these values based on the left side of the graph we can get these value based on x greater or equal zero so it looks like we are able to get any value out so all real numbers is the range any interval notation you so you notice how i put it and the last question we ask is this function continuous and if you notice this function is not continuous because we have here a hole we have a hole here and is a jump here so this function is not continuous no it is not and that's it if you enjoyed this video don't forget to click the like button and come back on c score for more help thank you